What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel and if you are here for the first time welcome to the channel welcome to eFootball 2023 I've been getting a lot of people asking me to do a beginner's guide I did one way back when in eFootball 2022 but there's been a lot of new players come in the last couple of weeks and months um, look the game has gone free to play obviously it's going to attract a brand new audience they are doing a lot of campaigns to attract new audiences on mobile and on console as well so if you are looking for a bit of help and a bit of guidance with eFootball 2023 hopefully this channel will help you guys out I post daily videos we do player reviews squad reviews tips tutorials guides everything we do a bit of gameplay as well obviously with the dream team stuff but yeah there's a lot of stuff happening on this channel if you guys want to check it out and subscribe to me i would appreciate that but yeah if you have downloaded eFootball 2023 and you've loaded up for the first time you will be greeted with this screen this is me doing a tutorial and a beginner's guide with a brand new account never been played before so you just go through it we're going to go through it together we're going to pick our squad so we're going to base our squad on barcelona uh, we're going to leave everything as standard just to kind of speed up the process a little bit but yeah uh, once we have our dream team created we're going to be at the main dream team menu the hub here so we are going to just skip on to that you can read all of that or watch the video if you guys want everything is there for you if you want to watch that and then we're going to kick off our login bonus right so hopefully this video will will cover everything but i am going to do two or three more follow-up videos i'm going to touch on a lot of stuff in this video but i'm not going to go into massive detail on it because it would be like a 40 minute video because there's a lot of stuff in dream team especially if you're a newcomer you've never played pez before you've never played my club you've never played eFootball or dream team before there is a lot of stuff to cover so i'm going to break it down into a couple of videos this one is going to be a cover all just kind of a, a, a basic introduction uh to eFootball 2023 a couple of do's and don'ts and a couple of uh, t uh tricks and tips as well as just setting up your squad and showing you guys if you want to stay free to play you don't need to buy coins because the game gives you so much stuff so this is a perfect segue into that we get our login bonus this is our first time ever playing this you will get your login bonus for seven days of the week and you will get your 50 coins on day five so that would be friday so every week they have login bonuses and they also have a campaign uh, or a campaign a campaign um which is an extra login bonus as well as a campaign special login bonus so this one has been running from the first of the 12th to the eighth of the 12th but they do rinse and repeat this every week and every month we also get bombarded and you guys are going to get bombarded and overwhelmed with so much free stuff here happening uh, you're going to get so many items added to your inbox when you start up, including five French special login bonus players, which gets us Kylian Mbappe straight off the rip. If you've downloaded this, this game literally in the last minute or two and you've stumbled onto this video or you've searched for a video like this, a beginner's guide, you are going to get an unbelievable Kylian Mbappe card for free, right? So once we are kind of cleared of all that and we have everything done here, we're just going to exit out of this. You guys can read all of that. I'm going to cover everything in this in a, in a way quicker way. Um, it'll just tell you about everything. And then we also have our first steps. We have got like debut missions in and we also have debut events, which I'm going to get into in a second, right? So straight away, once you actually log into the game and create your profile, you will have all of these cleared, right? You'll have all of these cleared. Welcome to eFootball. You get a four-star player. You get two four-star players. Uh, they're going to be four-star forwards. You get four, or you get two four-star midfielders and two four-star defenders. And then once we actually like do these, like, literally this is as simple as it is, lads. We'll show you in a second. Uh, but you just have to clear all of those, and then you get onto the missions number two. But yeah, it is. It can be overwhelming for you. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff, right? So. We're going to start with the authentic match dream team game plan my team and contract and we're going to go through them all one by one right then we're going to move on to the second tab so the first thing is right this is your authentic matches which you play your events with real teams you're not using your dream team you are using an in-game team so if you pick barcelona you will be using barcelona if you pick real madrid you'll be picking real madrid for the entirety of the game right so in this one here the international cup experience this is what I recommend every single new player does straight off. Before you even touch your squad, before you do anything, go in here. It is the International Cup. It's basically an offline uh, AI challenge. You're going to be playing as the AI. You're not going to be playing against online players. You pick a squad. Like, look, France are absolutely beast. Portugal are beast. Whoever that you decide to pick, you can pick. And then you're basically going to be playing through a World Cup, right? So if we pick France here... You can choose France, you can change team again, but all we need to do is get out of the group by getting five points, uh, which is two wins, or else a draw, a draw, and then 
a win. So you just basically play the World Cup. It's the real uh, group stage, obviously. And if you do clear this, right, you can choose whatever difficulty you want by pressing square or X on the Xbox or the PC. And you can choose your difficulty level. It doesn't matter what difficulty level that you do it on. I would recommend if you are a fairly good, to, you know, good player, um, you know, try out top player. If you're, you know, just learning the mechanics and stuff, you could try out professional and then work your way up to superstar and legend towards the end of uh, the series or tr towards the end of the campaign. But once you play through that, right, you will see here your rewards. And if you press this event details, you will see the rewards that you're going to be getting here uh, are going to max out at around 300,000 or 400,000, I think it is. Uh, and once you finish the entire event, you are going to be getting over 1 million GP, right? So once you clear all this and win the World Cup, uh, win this challenge, you are going to get a million GP. So once you've done that, that's a really good launch pad for you to build a squad. There's also the Bruno Fernandes Cup. Do not worry if this does not pop up for you. This is only open to six regions, which I think are Spain, France, Italy, UK, Turkey, and I'm not too sure the last one. Spain, I think. Yeah, Spain. So uh, if I said Spain already, it's I, I can't remember the, the, the sixth one. But that is basically just open to certain players. And then you obviously get, you know, a chance of playing these. So yeah, it's England, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Turkey. Sorry, Germany fans. Uh, and you just have to accumulate the, the points to get out of that. You get Bruno Fernandes as a special card there. You also get those players that you see here are those uh, rewards that you see there. So that's a good launch pad without having to use any of your players, without having to, you know, get anybody. Trial matches just for offline matches against your mates if you want to play at home, local. And then we've got the Dream Team matches. So this is going to be used in your squad, right? You've got your eFootball League, which is basically your divisions. You have 10, you have 10 matches. You start in the, in the top division. Uh, the first couple of games you play are going to be against the AI, I think. Uh, you're in Division 10. And then you obviously work your way through. You get 10 matches to get the points you need for promotion and on and on and on. Uh, so there's no really need to go into too much detail in that. You've got a friend match, which you can invite a friend in and play a friend match lobby. Online quick match is just literally a once-off match. There's no rewards, no ranking, nothing. It's just like a friendly match. And then the events are pretty much the same as what I explained in the offline events. You have all of these where you're playing a mixture of AI and you're playing user matches. So you're playing, you know, PvP against other users. There's limits on these. We'll get into that in a future video. But all of these events you can enter. This is against the AI. Again, uh, it's very, very simple. You get 100 eFootball coins, which gives you a free spin. So speaking of spins, there's two ways of acquiring players in eFootball 2023, right? So if you go in and look at your base starting 11, this is going to be it. It's going to be filled with default players, absolutely, you know, shocking players uh, that are not going to be able to compete online. But we have already been given so many free stuff that we're going to continue to like tweak our team and get just an unbelievable squad in. So when we go into our squad here, you have an overview of your managers, your players and your strips. We'll get into that in another video as well. But yeah, buy-in players, you can either buy players with coins, which are real-life coin money, or else you can actually buy them on uh, with GP, right? So as you see here, there's special players that are kind of like recycled and added every Monday and Thursday. That's when the cycle is. I definitely, definitely recommend checking out eFootballDB.com. Uh, that is the database website I use. And it has all the players that you want that you can possibly see and as well as upcoming players that will be coming, you know, maybe a week in advance so you can plan out and see what legends are coming, uh, you know, what epic players are coming as you see here. Um, and then obviously you have a section for popular players um, and all that. And when you click on a player, obviously you can simulate his training. You can see what he maxes out at, what his potential is, um, how much he is going to cost. And also, you know, like what his finalized stats can be when you train him up fully. You know, so if you pump in a couple of stats here and you can simulate everything without having to actually do it in game, which is very, very handy. So you can see that he turns into a 91 overall player. And then you have the other versions, which you can see here as well. There is different packs and different versions of different players. So that's just one thing that I would recommend you guys do. Um, it has all the accurate stats up and the player levels and everything is looking smooth. So yeah, that's one thing you can do if you want to check out any of these players. So say you are, you know, considering getting 
one of these players and you're saying, oh, well, I wonder what he would look like when he's maxed out in my squad. You can go in and you can actually train him up and simulate him on eFootballDB. So all of these packs here, you can buy with coins, which are, you know, 100 coins per spin. Um, and it's just based on luck. There's also nominating contracts. We will get into that in a future video as well. But essentially, all you need to know about this is that there's two ways of acquiring players in eFootball. There's players that you can buy for GP, which is the in-game currency. And then there's players that you can buy for real life currency. That's pretty much as simple as I can make it, right? So when we go back out here, we will see that we have uh, 19 in our inbox there at the top right. We've got 19 messages, right? So when we go into that, we'll have all the information there, but we'll also have 11 in our inbox, which is going to be free chance deals and login bonuses. So when we receive all of those, we are going to get loads of players, loads of GP, loads of everything. So now that we have some GP, we've got 90,000 GP, we can go into just standard players and we can just sign whoever that we want, right? So we can search for whoever we want. So we have 90,000 GP. We can search for a player that's going to cost 50,000 or maybe, you know, maybe 60,000. We want a left back, right? We'll see who will be able to buy for that budget. And then you pretty much can buy him. So he's going to cost 76,000 GP. We can go in and we can actually sign that player. And then obviously we will have a really, really good player um, that we can get. And obviously you can buy somebody cheaper. You can buy somebody better. Uh, it doesn't really matter who you end up buying, right? So that's for GP, which you earn. You earn GP from, you know, everything. You get it for login bonuses. You get it for clearing events. You get it for doing challenges. You get it for everything. Coins are a little bit more rare to come by, right? So we have no coins at the moment, but we do have a couple of free spins. So this process is the exact same as if we are spending coins. So we have got five free agents here. Uh, that you get as a login bonus and we've also got a couple of free ones here so when we don't when we have coins we will be able to buy these the same process so just because we have the free one here this is just a campaign at the moment but if we wanted to buy the italian pack we do need coins obviously to get coins you have to purchase them or else unlock them right you can unlock a, car a certain amount with the login bonuses every week but that's how much the coins cost there um if you wanted to buy them but if you want to stay free to play they do give a lot of players. Like We are going to get these five players for free, including this 88 overall Mbappe that goes up to a 97 overall. So if whether we're spinning coins or we get a free spin or we're using a nominating contract, I'll cover that in another video. All we'll do is sign the player and this is basically getting the players for real life money or for getting them for free or whatever. So we're actually going to skip this and we do get Mbappe on our first spin. That is absolutely unreal um we do get mbappe we were going to get him anyway but yeah we do get killing mbappe and then we'll have him in our squad we'll be able to use him we'll be able to train him up and you can see that we're completing objectives there as well so we can just continue to sign those um uh, we have until we have all of those agents you know free uh you know uh redeemed there is also as i said the packs so these packs are just like starting 11s that you can buy for 900 coins and 1500 coins i will do a video on that in fact i've already done a video on that if you want to check out my pack reviews i will do a video on that as well and then obviously you can buy managers i'll do another video on, on that as well so moving on lads i don't want to make this video like massively long uh, so i'll try and kind of shut up shop here now and uh, just cover a couple of bits and pieces so this match pass there's three versions of the match pass there's a regular a value and a premium the regular is free you will get all these rewards just for playing 50 matches right so you play 50 matches it doesn't matter what match you play you will get all these rewards the value pack i think is 250 coins this week so if you want to buy that you can get that um but it's up to you like that's going to cost 250 and the premium is 500 so that's what the premium and the value match pass are so it's basically just rewards as you're playing the game and then you also have as well as that you've got objectives so there's free objectives and then there's career objectives campaign objectives so you can go in here you can see all the objectives as you're scoring goals as you're playing games you will unlock these like organically so don't worry about that they're just in-game objectives that you clear by scoring goals keeping clean sheets signing players you can see all there that we've already you know done all of these we can just receive these and we will get our reward Sixteen thousand gp is the total that we get there and then if you guys obviously want to check out a lot of the stuff as well, um, I will cover the eFootball shop and stuff in a, in, a, in a later video, but we have got all our user information there. So if you do want to change your team, you want to change your base squad, obviously at the moment we're going to have Barcelona, so we're going to have Barca's kits, Barca's crest, everything like that. You can change your base team here and your edit team there. 
you can change the name of your team to change your kits it doesn't really matter what team you pick but you can just pick your favorite kits and then also you have training so you can work on your free kicks your corner kicks your penalty kicks or a free training where you can play against any team and you will unlock a debut mission there as well so yeah you can just get to you know get to grips with the training here um there's loads of different ways that you can do it you can pick whatever squad that you want you can test out the controls you can test out what camera works for you you can pretty much do whatever you want to do um and just figure out the training as best as you possibly can so yeah you can change all your players change all your squad by going into the training menu going into the training settings you can choose whatever team you see here you can pick and play with so if you want to test out a player before buying him you can pick him and see what he plays like in the training mode so that's pretty much it lads um just just a quick kind of beginner's guide and an overview of eFootball 2023 you just continue to play the games unlock and stuff and go from there and yeah i will do a follow-up video on this where i will cover the players and the do's and the don'ts of training players and stuff like that so i hope you guys will check that one out this is only part one i'll be back later peace